And then, then we've got this L.A. Times suppression. The L.A. Times apparently sitting on a videotape, which could rock this campaign. Andrew McCarthy, fabulous writer. National Review Online. Rolled it out this morning. Everyone just sit back. Sit back. You want to grab a, a Snickers bar? Or you want to fire up a stogie? Open up a Mountain Dew? Just sit back and listen. And think. Let's try a, a thought experiment. Say John McCain attended a party at which known racists and terror mongers were in attendance. Say, testimonials were given, including a glowing one by McCain for the benefit of the guest of honor, who happened to be a top apologist for terrorists. Say, McCain not only gave a speech, but stood by in tacit approval and solidarity, while other racists and terror mongers gave speeches that reeked of hatred for an American ally and rationalizations of terror attacks. Now let's say the Los Angeles Times obtained a videotape of the party. Question, is there any chance, any chance at all, the Times would not release the tape and publish front page story after story about the gory details with the usual accompanying chorus of sanctimony from the op-ed uh, commentariat. Is there any chance? If the Times was the least bit reluctant about publishing, remember we're pretending here, that the rest of the mainstream media, you know, the guys who drove Trent Lott out of his leadership position over that birthday uh, party toast, would not be screaming for the release of the tape. Andrew McCarthy writes, do we really have to ask? No, Andrew, we don't. So now, let's have thought experiments and return back to reality. Woo! Okay, we're back to reality now. Why is it that the Los Angeles Times, sitting on a videotape of the 2003 farewell bash in Chicago, at which Barack Obama lavished praise on the guest of honor, Rashid Khalidi, former mouthpiece for master terrorist Yasser Arafat, uh, that's right, you heard me correctly. At the time, Khalidi, a PLO advisor turned University of Chicago professor, was headed east to Columbia. There he would take over the university's Middle East Studies program, which he has since maintained as a, a bubbling cauldron of anti-Semitism, and assume the professorship endowed in honor of Edward Said, Another notorious terror apologist. Is there any, is there just a teeny weeny chance that this was an evening of Israel bashing Obama would find very difficult to explain? Could it be the Times, a pillar of Obama mania, and Obama media is covering for this guy? Gateway pundit who, you know, hat tip goes to Gateway for uncovering this thing, reports that the Times has the videotape but is suppressing it. Back in April, I remember, we, we did this original uh, story. We, we covered this back in April. I remember we did it. The Times published a gentle story about the situation. Reporter Peter Walston avoided, for example, any mention of the inconvenient fact that the revelers included Ayers and Bernadine Dorn, Ayers' wife and fellow uh, weatherman terrorist. The self-professed revolutionary leftists are friendly with both Obama and Khalidi. Indeed, researcher Stanley Kurtz has noted that Ayers and Khalidi were best friends and, small world it turns out, that the Obamas are extremely close to the Khalidis who have supported uh, this uh, man, apparently. They uh, have uh, reportedly babysat the Obama children. This PLO Yasser Arafat mouthpiece? Babysitting the Obama kids? 
Perhaps even more inconveniently, the Times also let slip that it had obtained a videotape of the party. Walston's story is worth excerpting at length. It was a celebration of Palestinian culture, a night of music, dancing, and a dash of politics. Local Arab Americans were bidding farewell to Rashid Khalidi, an internationally known scholar, critic of Israel, and advocate for Palestinian rights, who was leaving town for a job at Columbia uh, in New York. Uh, a special tribute came from Khalidi's friend and frequent dinner companion, the young state senator Barack Obama. Speaking to the crowd, Obama uh, reminisced about meals prepared by Khalidi's wife, Mona, and conversations that had changed his thinking. His many talks with the Khalidis, Obama said, had been consistent reminders to me of my own blind spots and my own biases. It's for that reason that I'm hoping that for many years to come we continue that conversation. A conversation that is necessary not just around Mona and Rashid's dinner table, but around the entire world. Well, Anti-Israel banter? Pro-Palestinian anti-Israel banter? I mean, I still cannot believe that there is a Jew in America that will vote for Barack Obama. But of course there's this uh, Democratic, this this blind uh, ambition, this this blind leading the blind, this uh, oh Jews in America have to vote for the Democrat. I, mean, I am amazed. A lot of L.A. Times released the videotape. They admitted to having the tape. One speaker likened Zionist settlers on the West Bank to Osama bin Laden saying both had been blinded by ideology. Obama adopted a different tone in his comments and called for finding common ground, but his presence at such events as he worked to build a political base in Chicago has led some Palestinian leaders to believe that he might deal differently with the Middle East than his opponents in the White House. At Khalidi's going away party in 2003, the scholar lavished praise on Obama, telling the mostly Palestinian American crowd that the state senator deserved their help in winning a U.S. Senate seat. You will not have a better senator under any circumstances, Khalidi said. The event was videotaped. A copy of the tape was obtained by the Times. Though Khalidi has seen little of Senator Obama in recent years, Michelle Obama attended a party months ago, celebrating the marriage of the Khalid daughter. I mean, this is another association. They keep piling up. We're eight days away. This country is going to be faced with such voters' remorse if Barack Obama is elected, it is going to make our heads spin at some time. At some date, whether it's uh, six months down the road, whether it's a year and a half down the road, I think a lot of folks are going to wake up from this intoxication, this baroxication, as I've called it, and they're going to say, what the hell have we done? I've fallen out of the zombie mode. It's, it's worn off. What have I done? Oh, my God, what have I done? Uh, we'll put the whole link up on my website at schnittshow.com. That's S-C-H-N-I-T-T-S-H-O. And I'll put this whole uh, piece up uh, from Andrew McCarthy from uh, National Review Online uh, about Barack Obama at this party for this uh, Palestinian sympathizer and mouthpiece uh, Khalidi, Rashid Khalidi and again the list of associations just piles up 